Hello, it's Benjamin Simons here. I'm gonna make as quick a video as I can on how to load and play multiple instruments within one instance or running version of contact within one um, software instrument. So what we're gonna do, you can see the audio channel there, that's just my microphone. Uh, we need to add a new channel. We're gonna add a software instrument. Uh, straight away, we're gonna to go to uh, native instruments and we're gonna add Opposed to a stereo single channel, uh, a 16 times stereo out version. Um, and then you'll see straight away on the channel strip it's added a plus button. So depending on how many instruments we decide to add, we can we can add as many additional channels as we need. Um, so we're going to load up, let's say, five instruments. Yeah. Um, so if we go into here, we'll get some strings. So we'll go strings high. And then we'll do strings high again, but we'll change the sound. We'll do strings low. We'll add uh, a sack butt. Why not? Um, so that's close these down. Four, and then we'll add uh, a recorder. Why not? Um, so right, we've got our five instruments here. So what we need to do is we need to have uh, the relevant number of tracks here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so if we label these, so we would do strings staccato, uh, we'll do strings legato, right, we'll just do leg, um, low string, um, sack butt, and recorder. Okay, so we've got these now. Um, we can't see them in the in the main window here. So we're going to do it so we can actually see them and get them to, to play properly because at the moment on this channel all I'm getting is my string high which is no good for us so we're going to um, highlight the additional four right click and hit create track and they'll pop up here so we've got string staccato so let's make sure that is actually string staccato the second one is going to be strings legato pop that open we'll just click on here boom that's a legato patch um, and now when I when I flick through at the starting point, we've got the correct sound, but you should start to notice there's a, a problem, right? So that problem is that everything's still playing through our original channel. So uh, what we need to do then is we need to come into contact um, on, the, uh, on the output button. So bring up that screen. We're gonna go to batch uh, or presets batch configuration we're going to go for um, batch functions, clear output selection, and create one individual channel for each loaded instrument. Uh, and then that will make some changes within contact and will match that with the channels that I have in Logic. So we've got strings high, staccato. We've got strings high, legato. We've got low strings, currently staccato. We've got our sack butts, and we've got recorder. All right, so ignore what I'm playing. That's absolute litter, obviously. Um, and that's it. That's obviously going to give you the ability to um, to affect things differently, to mix things how you want, to add reverbs or delays or EQs or whatever you want to do. And that is a, the quickest I can possibly get through that without rambling on forever. So I hope you found it useful, uh, and good luck with your writing. Bye.